good. Nice will be. So, you wish to do battle with the Lord of Casino Camelot, and you would like me to help you with this endeavor. Hmm. Very well, I'm in. Oh, no, you're not. You're coming with me and my Q crew on our Summer Las Vegas special tour. Don't forget me. We agreed on this last week, remember? Did you just forget? Did you not like my special summer vacation plan to begin with? If that's the case, all you have to do is say so. No, maybe it's nothing like that. I don't mean to impung your plans, I just felt like I could help Master in her time of need. You're always so passive when it comes to the cues, you know? You always insist you're not, but from where I stand, it's almost unnatural how half-hearted you are about them. That's why I wanted to go on this Las Vegas tour, so you could experience how great the cues are for yourself. And me, don't forget me. Met B. But then, as soon as Master comes calling, you drop everything in a heartbeat and agree to help. Her like it's nothing. What's the big idea, Skithak? I understand how you feel, Medby, and I didn't forget our plans. But Master wouldn't ask for my help unless it was for a very good reason. Indeed, I too can sense there is a holy grail operating behind the scenes of this Las Vegas place. Besides, you are the one who told me that minute singularity should never be ignored. You also told me that the summer ones were especially troublesome, did you not? Yo. Okay, I might have said those things, and I might be able to personally attest to how true they are. But Master's already defeated the other six from two sword masters. Once she beats Casino Camelot, the whole singular could end up being repaired, which means it could disappear. Then we'll never be able to go on a Las Vegas tour together. <coughs> yes, I suppose you're right about that. Alright, what about this? Even if we lose our chance to tour Las Vegas, we can still travel around the Wandering Sea together. Will that do? Uh <sighs> Ordinarily, I wouldn't let anyone in the whole world get away with ditching a plan I came up with like it was nothing. But you, you, I'm sorry. <sighs> You're Skithak. You're not supposed to be this nice. You're not supposed to apologize so easily. Being unreasonable is something new for you, but now you're feeling sad about it? Uh-oh, this is bad. The very idea of a meek and gentle Skithak would be usually so unthinkable it could make one's head explode. And yet we have one right here, in the luscious flesh of Skithak Scotty. Oh, this is very bad. Yeah, all right, you leave me no choice. Berserker Q. What? First you tell me to wait over there, and now you want me over here? What's the big idea, Medby? I'll make it up to you plenty later. Right now, I just want you to do me one TT favor, my Q. Hold Master back while we have Ducks get back. Uh, hang on, can we talk about? Stop this, bad Medby. There's no stopping it now. Heh, <laughs> get ready to feel the pain, Master. I know it was my idea and I fight her, but maybe we didn't have to go so far out of our way just to bring a goddess. Master, really? You're saying this now, of all times? <laughs> Maji, if that's how you felt, you really should have said something before we asked her. Foo-foo! Yeah, here it comes. I don't mind the occasional to tokusatsu, but creature features are definitely not my thing. Now, I wish I hadn't said anything. Yeah, goddess has to be a treasure among treasures. I would say that makes her worth stealing, don't you think? I do understand it's a poor choice to try to simply overpower a berserker. But it looks like that's just what we'll have to do to make it through this. Just to be perfectly clear, I'll stick to sniping for this entire battle. I guess we're up against Fergus and Q. I hope this Q's actually, like, kind of powerful. I really like Q. Even his Berserker form should be considered something really tough to fight.
追いつきだらけだぜ That was a great addition to the team right there. Sniper is the one person that got taken out. Guess he chose a poor sniping position. <laughs> Why are you stopping me? Do you really not want to hang out with me that badly, Skithak? Or is it that you just don't want to make out with... I mean, I mean make nice with my cues? That's enough, Mebby. She already told you why she's doing this. She felt she had to do her part to find the Holy Grail that corrupted Las Vegas. If anything, she's doing this to help you, not to hurt you. Right, Skithak? I don't know. It's true that I'm not entirely comfortable around the cute lanes. I can't deny there's part of me that tells me I should try to avoid them. So I cannot stay for certain that Mebby is wrong. I'm sorry, Mebby. You have every right to be angry with me. You think you can get out of this just by being cute? Well, too bad. I'm not letting you off the hook that easily. And I'm not calling off this tour either. Not even if the Singularity does end up getting repaired. If that happens, I'll just make you come along on a tour of the Wandering Sea instead. Thank you, Mappy. I don't need your thanks. If you want to help Master get a hold of this grail, then knock yourself out. Just make sure you don't use up so much magical energy that you can't join me for my tour. Okay, I won't. You better not. I won't, I promise. So that's it. We're done here. So it would seem. Anyway, all that fighting made me sweaty. I think I'll go for a dip in the hotel pool. Would any of you lovely ladies care to join me? Well, now, as a flattering as it is to receive an invitation from a former king of Ulster, I'm afraid I've already got plans. And I gotta go with Scotty Sama. It's got nothing to do with the fact that I just can't handle the whole Celtic athlete thing. I'll pass too, of course. A scandal's the last thing I need. Hey, Satanta? 
Guess I'll try my luck at the Medjad Casino. Satanta? Why do you say Satanta? Set. Win or lose, Laughter Cry. This is going to be the last of the Seven Sword BDB rules. We got the letter of challenge and we got the will to fight. All that stuff is go up there and. No, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, we got to do something about those City Aloha Night guys. You ready, Master? Definitely. Way better than you are. Great, then let's go right in through the front door. Master Paldea, Mash, very so this one too much so Masters of Las Vegas. Are you all ready to do this thing? Of course. I'm never far from Master's side. Hoo hoo hoo! I may not be much help in combat this time, but I'll do my very best to ascertain the situation accurately. Thanks, Mash. I've already come this far, so I'm not going to stop helping you guys now. Healing. Indeed, we have quite come quite far. Just be careful this path we're on doesn't turn out to be a literal dead end, okay? I guess I can help out too, at least until my next show. The next stop, Casino Camelot. Next stop, Casino Camelot. Next stop, Casino Camelot. Yeah! Hold it! Hold it right there, please. May I ask where you're off to in such a hurry? Is there some sort of emergency? There's only one person to be found beyond those doors. Our Lord, Her Majesty the Summer Lion King, and she only meets with VIPs. I doubt that any of you qualify as such, so what is your intended business with her? Have you come to challenge the Summer Lion King to a duel with that letter of challenge I suspect to be fake? Can't you tell by looking at just you, big oaf? Of course I'm here to challenge her. Oh ho, have you now? I'm Katsushika Hokusai, genius sword fire painter and future fairy. No, make that genius sword master. It's nice of you, Aloha guys, to come and greet us, but I ain't here to fight you. I'm only here for the biggest of the big shots, the Summer Lion King who rules over all of Dazzle in Las Vegas. That was a lovely little speech. Honestly, he is a beautiful quality. I won't fault you for that. I can see from your outfit and swords that you are indeed a true sword master. And as such, I can hardly blame you for, you for seeking to surpass the others. It seems your letter of challenge is a genuine article as well. I'm impressed you managed to acquire one. However, I'm afraid there's only one who stands above the, both the Swimsuit Swordmasters and Las Vegas. Our glorious ruler, the Summon Lion, Summon Lion King. Oh man, here comes Pantsless Lancelot. What are you going on about, Sir Gawain? Surely there's no need to shout at others with such common sense. Ah, how this saddens me. It saddens me that Sir Gawain would so suddenly become so serious. I was hoping I could spend at least a few more days as nothing more than just another Aloha man. But alas, it seems that it's not to be. No, it isn't. We Aloha Knights are sworn to protect our Summer Lion King with our lives. The only people who can we can let through are VIPs who wish to play right cards, which means there is no way forward for you from here. I suggest you turn around and leave the way you came. So what, you think we're going to go, oh, okay, and leave just like that? Besides, the Lemus Summer Lion King invited me to come and face her personally. Did she? I don't see you on the appointment list. Huh? That's what you think this is about? Damn appointment? That does it. Now I'm mad. Try this on for size. Hey, Mr. Bodyguard! Yes, yes, I'm here. Professor. Did you forget that you lost to her magister at poker and signed a contract agreeing to be our exclusive bartender? Or have you simply decided to betray us? <sighs> a word of advice, if I may, Sir Gawain. Given the chance, we villains won't think twice about stabbing you in the back. Now then, this may be rough as far as cutting plans go, but it's time to draw up the formations. I must say, I can't wait to see how Swimsuit Swordmaster fights when they have an old spider support. Aloha Knights, you may be formidable opponents, but you have one fatal weakness. You will never fight together. And why would you? You can't hope to stand out with the ladies unless you fight your own battles, after all. He's right! Master, he's minute currently Aloha Knights first and Knights of the Round Table second. That means they can't help but try to prove that they're the ones who must most best them by the ways of Aloha. You know, I'm still not clear what an Aloha Knight actually is. The ways of Aloha. Right, they're going to face us one on one, or one on six. I'm not sure what it means either. Aloha Knights are a variant of swimsuit swordmasters. I'm surprised you don't, you didn't already know that. 
At any rate, now is the time to defeat them once and for all. One at a time, of course. First up, Sir Tristan. Let's see, uh, out of our current party members, I think we'll have to go with... Madame Carmilla, the eerily beautiful crimson flower, and Skithaskari, the Norse bride of the gods. You rang? Yeah, you look like you would be easy to steal, of course. Whether or not you're worth it is another question entirely. It is about time I got a turn. I see, so that's your plan. You really did your homework investigating me, didn't you? I never thought you would employ not one, but two fighters at the same time with such devilishly stunning attributes. Curse you, Moriarty. Curse you, Terrorata. How'd you know I was weak to beautiful women who fall under a particular category? Uh, don't ask me. Ask Moriarty. That's all his idea. I see, so this is one of the magical... What is this magical bullet? It seems the rumors about him never missing a shot were true. However, I'm still the greatest swordsman... Marksman of the Knights of the Round Table. I never miss any of my shots, either. So you know what? I thank you. Yes, I thank you for this opportunity to go all out against such extraordinary beauties as this. I see, you fight well, Sir Tristan. I'm sure you'll be fine, Sir Tristan. Oh, I'm so jealous. Uh, never mind. Now is the time to fulfill your oath, Sir Tristan. Fight as though your life depends on it. Rah, you'll never defeat me. Never. Be careful, you two. Tristan's headed straight for you. Why is he headed straight for them? He's an archer. He should just be firing arrows at him. Well, oh, that's so weird, man. Yeah, the smartest play would be... Her, frankly. And I don't have any lances in my own, so... We're just gonna go with that. Ryder Mordred isn't more in here. Like, when she shows up, she's her proper saber self. Okay. 